Hello everyone, I am Deepa Shri. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss exercise problems of real number. So, before solving this problem, watch my previous video which will help full to solve this problem easily. Ok, now let us start exercise 1.1. So, in that question number 1, use Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF of, in that first one, 135 and 225. So, in previous video, we already discussed how to find HCF. So, to find HCF by Euclid's division algorithm, we have to divide the two numbers till we get the remainder 0. This is the procedure. So, first step in this is to find which number is greater. So, here 135, 225 is greater than 135. So, we have to take greater number as A and smaller number as B. So, here 225 is greater, 225 is greater than 135. So, you take 225 as A and 135 as B. Now, just recall what is Euclid's division algorithm. So, you know what is Euclid's division algorithm? So, for any positive integer A and B, there exists any integer Q and R such that A is equal to BQ plus R, where R is less than B and greater than or equal to 0. So, you know that reminder is always less than B. B means which one? Well, the lesser number 135 and it is greater than or equal to 0. It may be 0, 1, 2, 3, yeah. So, okay. Now, here this is what division algorithm. Now, we have to divide 225 and 135. So, let us divide. So, here we have to write 225 and here you write 135. So, you know that 135, 2 is how much? 2 pi is 10, 1 remaining, 2 3 is 6 plus 1 7, 2 1 is 2. So, you get 270. So, 270 is greater than 225. So, we have only one option to take 135, 135. So, the remainder is 90. So, if you remove this, you get the remainder 90. Now, you check here. What is the remainder? 90 is the remainder. 1 is the quotient. So, now by using Euclid's division lemma, write this value of this. What is A? We took 225 is A and what is B? 135 is B. What is Q? 1 and what is R? R is 90. So, this is what in the form of A is equal to B into Q plus R. Now, you know that since reminder is not equal to 0, to get HCF, we have to divide the, continue the process, division process till the remainder is 0. So, you got, since you got remainder is 90. So, again, you take, you have to apply division algorithm lemma to 135 and 90. So, in 135 and 90, which is greater number, 135 is greater than 90. So, take 135 as A and 90 as B. So, here, so here 90 is what? B, 135 as A. So, here 90, 180. So, 180 is greater than 135. So, take 90 ones are 90. So, what is the reminder? 45 is the reminder. So, now write 45 is reminder. 1 is quotient. Now write again in the form of A is equal to BQ plus R. 
so what is a here what is a 135 is a and what is b b is 90 into q is what quotient 1 and what is the remainder 45 is the remainder since since remainder is not equal to 0 So again, we have to apply the Euclid's division lemma to ninety and forty-five. So here, ninety is A and forty-five is B. So again, divide this. So you get forty-five as B and ninety as A. A, and if you divide. Forty-five to the ninety, so you get the remainder zero. Here the division process is stop. So what is the remainder zero and what is the quotient two? Now again, write in the form of a is equal to b q plus r. What is a? Ninety is a. What is b? Forty-five. What is q? Two. And remainder is zero. So since remainder is zero in this stage, b value of b is forty five, or we call it as divisor. At this stage, divisor is forty five. Therefore, HCF of one thirty five and two twenty five is forty five. This is the next question is. One ninety six and thirty eight thousand two twenty. Here also we have to find HCF by using Euclid's lemma. So here, first step is to find the greater number. So here greater number is thirty eight thousand two twenty. So take greater number as A and smaller number as B. Now what is Euclid's division lemma? For some any to positive integer. There exist a and b. There exist unique integer q and r such that a is equal to b q plus r, and r is less than b, greater than or equal to zero. Now we have to divide this. So while dividing one ninety six and thirty eight thousand two twenty. So here thirty eight thousand two twenty is very large number. So we need three steps. To complete division, so you know you get one ninety six to the you get one ninety six to the two one eighty nineteen one remaining two one the two three three ninety two which is greater than three eighty two so you can't take the one ninety six to the so you have to take one ninety six one the itself so what is the remainder here you get one thousand eight sixty two. One thousand eighty-six is the remainder, so you have to bring two down because you can't divide one eighty-six by one ninety-six. Again, one ninety-six nines are one thousand seven hundred and sixty-four. So again, if you remove this, the remainder is nine eighty. Ninety-eight is the remainder, bring zero down. So here, one ninety six five zero nine eighty. So the remainder you get zero. So here in the uh, while dividing these two, you get the remainder zero. So you no need of dividing further dividing because you got remainder zero. So what is remainder zero and what is quotient one ninety five? So now apply. If by applying Euclid's division lemma for one ninety six and thirty eight thousand two twenty, we obtain what is A right in this form. What is A thirty eight thousand two twenty, and what is B equal to B is what one ninety six and right into Q. What is Q one ninety five, and what is the remainder zero is the remainder. This is what the last step because since remainder is zero. So in this stage, what is the value of B? B's value is one ninety six, or we call it as divisor. So this is what HCF of. Therefore, HCF of 
थर्टी एट थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी एंड वन नाइन्टी सिक्स इज विचुअल वन नाइन्टी सिक्स द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज एट सिक्सटी सेवन एंड टू फिफ्टी फाइव हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू फाइंड एच सी एफ बाई यूजिंग यूक्लिस डिविजन लेमा सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज द प्रोसेस वी हैव टू डिवाइड टिल द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो देन वी गेट द एच सी एफ so here which one is greater number 867 is greater than 255 take greater number as a and smaller number as b now write euclid's division lemma a is equal to b q plus r where r is less than b and greater than or equal to 0 now divide this what is A eight sixty seven so write A here and B two fifty five so two fifty five three is a seven sixty five so what is the remainder seven minus five is two six minus six is zero eight minus seven you get one zero two so here you get remainder is one hundred and two and quotient is 3 since remainder is not equal to 0 again write this in the form of a is equal to bq plus r what is a a is 867 equal to what is b 255 what is q into q that is 3 and plus r so r is 102 since remainder is not Zero. The remainder is equal to how much? One hundred and two. Again, you have to apply Euclid's division lemma to two fifty-five and one hundred and two. So, which one is greater here? Two fifty-five is greater. Take two fifty-five as A and one hundred and two as B. So, this one hundred and two gets becomes B, and this is two fifty-five as A. So one hundred and two, two is two hundred and four. So here, what is the remainder? The remainder is fifty one. Again, the remainder is fifty one, and uh, two is quotient. Since remainder is not equal to zero, now again write in the form of a is equal to b q plus a. So what is a? A is two fifty five and B is one hundred and two. What is Q? Two and R is fifty one. Since R is not equal to zero, again apply division lemma to one hundred and two and fifty one. So here there is no space to write. So I will write here. So fifty one as take as B. And one hundred and two as a. So fifty one two is a one hundred and two. So the remainder you get zero. Now you have to stop the division process because you got remainder zero. So this is remainder two is quotient. So here one hundred and two is what a and fifty one is b. Why? Because 102 is greater than 51. Now again, write in the form of a is equal to b q plus r. So 102 is a. So 102 is equal to b is what 51 and q is 2 plus r is what 0. Since the remainder is 0, in this stage, what is the value of b 51 or we it is called as divisor. So the value of b is 51. Therefore, HCF of a sixty seven and two fifty five is fifty one. So this is the solution. In my next video, I will solve question exercise one point one in that question number two. So please subscribe my channel, like and comment below if you have any doubt. Thank you.